What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well and hope you guys have an awesome 2017. Uh, really exciting stuff coming up this year in the world of tech. And uh, to kind of kick things off, we have our hands on the new Intel Core i7 7700K processor. We're gonna be testing out this new chip and seeing how it compares against the previous generation 6700K as well as the 6800K, which are kind of in the same kind of ballpark in terms of performance and price range. So. If you guys are interested in seeing whether the new processor is worth upgrading to, let's find out. Now here you're taking a look at a quick breakdown of the new 7700K versus the 6800K as well as the 6700K. And just like Skylake, uh, Kirby Lake is still a 14 nanometer processor. So besides the higher overall clock speeds, both when it comes to the core frequency as well as the DDR4 specification, which is now natively supports 2400 megahertz opposed to 2133 megahertz on the previous generation. You also have upgraded integrated graphics on the new chip as well as a newer version of Speed Shift version 2, which basically makes the processor a little bit more responsive coming from idle to full boost frequency in the operating system. Apart from some of those factors, the core specifications is pretty much identical to the 6700K. Both CPUs have four physical cores with eight threads with a hyper-threading enabled, and the 6800K, based on the Broadwell E architecture, is a six-core CPU with a 12 threads, different uh, clock speeds obviously but it does also have a lot more cache with 15 megabytes opposed to the other two processors which are rated at around 8 megabytes. So with that done let's actually take a look at some more performance a benchmark results. Now the cool thing about the 7700K is that it's actually using the same socket 1151 so you can actually use some of the previous generation Z170 motherboards although there is a new Z270 chipset available for the new Kirby Lake architecture but to keep things as simple as possible we're going to use the the same exact uh, HP Omen X uh, PC uh, for both the 6700K as well as the 7700K to keep things as a level playing field. And we're just going to use an X99 uh, motherboard from Gigabyte for testing our 6800K processor. So you can check out the description down below for more detailed information about the uh, PC specification. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is uh, basically the raw CPU performance on the stock frequencies. Uh, I know that these uh, uh, processors excel at overclocking but to keep uh, variables as minimal as possible we're just going to take a look at the factory boost settings so uh, the first thing you're looking at right now is the uh, Cinebench R15 benchmark and the single core and multi-core performance results and as you can see uh, basically uh, the 6800k comes out on top when it comes to the multi-core performance but in terms of the single core performance uh, definitely the 7700k is shining score around 195 points for versus the 6700K scores about 184 points. Moving on, take a look at Geekbench. You can see that our 7700K, certainly when it comes to the single core performance, is outperforming the previous generation of processors by a pretty decent margin of getting over 5,300 points. And in terms of the multi-core performance, a solid 21,000 points versus 23,000 points on the 6800K and about 18,000 points on the factory clock setting on 6700k now in terms of video rendering performance i like to render out a 4k five minute file in premiere pro and just see how long it takes for the export time and on the 7700k basically it took around two minutes 39 seconds versus the 6800k it was uh, slightly faster at two minutes 19 seconds and the same video file rendered out in around two minutes 50 seconds on our 6700k at factory clock settings now in terms of the gaming performance uh, using the uh, DirectX 12 synthetic benchmark by 3D Mark Time Spy uh, you're looking at pretty much identical results across uh, three of these uh, processors basically for gaming there's not really a huge advantage that the 7700K presents compared to the 6700K and in most cases your gaming performance is going to be identical while even using the 6800K because most games uh, don't utilize all six cores at this point and uh, really 
really uh, any of these uh, processors are going to be a fantastic uh, choice for pretty much any high-end gaming rig. We're actually using the GTX 1080 to uh, render out these results that you're looking at right now. And when it comes to uh, more of a real-world uh, benchmark, when it comes to gaming, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Quad HD resolution, pretty much maxed out settings uh, using our GTX 1080. We get about a 93.8 average frames per second on the 7700K versus about 92.3 average frames per second on our 6700K and our 6800K is uh, slightly slower than the other two at around 87.4 average frames per second. Now lastly, I just want to briefly mention the overclockability of the 7700K. Certainly, it's a lot more efficient than the previous generation, 6700K. In fact, most people like myself to get a, a decent overclock about 4.7 gigahertz, they'd have to push the voltage uh, to around 1.38 volts versus uh, based on my experience, I really only had to push uh, the 7700K to 1.33 volts uh, to get a stable 5 gigahertz overclock, which is definitely pretty awesome. And uh, again, you're going to have to push the 6800K quite a bit in terms of voltage, just under 1.4 volts to get a decent 4.5 gigahertz overclock. And with that, you are going to get uh, some pretty decent performance. Looking at the Cinebench R15 benchmark, we're getting just over 1100 points with our uh, 5 gigahertz overclock on our 7700K versus you're getting about uh, 1058 points on our 6700K clocked around 4.7 gigahertz. And at 4.5 gigahertz, our 6800K is certainly the fastest at uh, well over 1300 points. But really on that guys, that's really it. Generally speaking, the new 7700K isn't a huge departure from the previous generation 6700K. In most cases, if you already have the 6700K, I probably would say definitely not worth upgrading to. If you are in the market for a new processor, if you can get your hands on the 7700K, it's an excellent overall chip when it comes to multi-thread and single-threaded performance. It certainly outperforms the previous generation by a couple of different margins from four to five percent depending on what applications you're going to be using and certainly when it comes to the uh, comparing it to the 6800k single threaded performance gaming performance uh, probably the new 7700k is probably the better choice but for productivity related applications and certain uh, software that utilize more threads and more cores obviously the 6800k is going to be the better solution for that we're going to have a couple of different uh, build guides coming up for this new lineup of intel processors and eventually when AMD releases their new chips, we're going to have an awesome comparison to see which one comes out on top. So make sure you're subscribed for our channel for all that great stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Take care.